Well, in 1973, I was a postdoc uh, in molecular biology at Columbia University, and it was, it was a time really of, a, of a, a lot of intense discussion. I had a lot of friends who were postdocs. Subjects came up naturally, and um, I just happened to come across um, a copy of the Wistar Symposium that was held in 1966 in Philadelphia. It's a collection of essays about Darwinian uh, theory, and I, and I read Murray Eden's article, a critical art article about Darwinian theory, and. Uh, Marcel Schutzenberger's critical argument about uh, Darwinian theory. And I started talking about it with um, the other postdoctoral fellows, people who were working in the laboratory at the time. And I discovered somewhat to my own um, surprise that the, the arguments, which seemed so very credible, very important, uh, went virtually unanswered uh, among the biologists that I knew, uh, who tended to dismiss the arguments in a way that suggested that they hadn't really understood them, and if they had understood them, were not prepared to respond to them. And that was, that was the beginning of uh, my skepticism about Darwinian theory. When I spent a year in Paris um, working with Schutzenberger, of course, both of us enriched each other's opinions. Uh, Schutzenberger had been a long-standing critic within the French biological establishment of Darwinian theory. And what he had to say um, reinforced what I had to say, what I had to say reinforced what he had to say. Later, I talked with Murray Eden. There were, were a group of us who were similarly skeptical. I must say in the 70s, in the late uh, 60s and in the 70s, there was a much more intensive um, uh, degree of opposition to Darwinian theory, a much, a much greater willingness to um, examine Darwinian orthodoxies. Uh, the great counter-reformation took place in the 1980s and the 1990s. So when I started work, or when I started thinking about these issues, uh, Schutzenberger and I wanted to write a book together on this. Um, there, was a, there was a very relatively liberal um, attitude among mathematicians, people who were interested, uh, physicists, uh, people who were interested in Darwinian theory, a much greater willingness to, to wonder whether any of this could possibly be true. So that was roughly my own background, my own approach to it. Well, the claim that all skeptics about Darwinian uh, Orthodoxy or Christian fundamentalist stands refuted by me. It's obviously not true. I'm not, neither Christian nor a fundamentalist. Um, but lots and lots of people are skeptical in the scientific community. Uh, I know dozens of mathematicians who scratch their head and say, you guys think this is the way life originated. It's absolutely a preposterous theory. And many, many very significant figures. John von Neumann, one of the great mathematicians of the 20th century, just laughed at Darwinian theory. He hooted at it. Uh, so it's, it's perfectly absurd. This is a point in a polemical dispute. It's not a, a reasonable um, standard of criticism. Opposition to Darwinian theory is, I wouldn't say widespread, but there's a consistent group of people among mathematicians, among physicists, among some um, very good speculative biologists who simply don't, uh, don't accept it, don't, e don't even regard it as a scientific theory in any reasonable sense.